the cruise industry has been involved in several tragic incidents. The worst of these being the Costa Concordia disaster of 2012. While these events draw the ire of the general public, one of the worst offenses caused by the industry never makes the headlines. That is the massive negative impact the cruise business has on the planet's oceans. To understand the full scale and urgency of the problem, we have to look back. A century ago, ocean liners, the forebears of today's cruise ships, were the only way for the average individual to cross the ocean. After World War II, the jet age was launched. The era of the ocean liner was over. By the mid-1960s, a new idea was forming around the use of these ships. The concept was a voyage focused on recreation and sightseeing, as opposed to transportation. The era of the cruise liner had begun. Over the last quarter century, the number of annual passengers on these ships has exploded. As the numbers have grown, so have the size of the ships. So what is the effect of all this growth? The answer is a massive increase in ocean pollution. In one day at sea, the average cruise ship emits more soot than 1 million cars, and more sulfur dioxide than 13 million cars. On a week-long voyage, the average cruise ship generates 150,000 gallons of human sewage, enough to fill up 10 backyard swimming pools. So where does all the sewage end up? Well, if the ship is in international waters, it can legally dump it straight into the sea. The massive increase in concentrated nitrogen and phosphorus in the ocean can lead to algal blooms, removing oxygen from the water and suffocating fish, crustaceans, coral reefs, and other marine life. Now, take into account that in just one year, the cruise ship industry generates one billion gallons of sewage. To see how each cruise line measures up when it comes to environmental impact, Check out Friends of the Earth's cruise ships, the cruise